Hey everybody, um, all you creative mentoring type of people, and uh, you know, anybody else that may be watching, that's just fine if you are. Um, I'm Nathan Terry, and uh, I'm going to show you guys something about uh, adjustment layers in Photoshop today. And uh, I'm starting off in Lightroom just to show you, um, to make you aware that Lightroom 2 was announced at Photoshop World, which by the way, I was at in Orlando and uh, had a lot of fun. I got to meet all the all the pro people like Scott Kilby and all those guys and stuff like that. It was fun. Uh, this is a photo I took and it's not the one we're going to be working on, but I just wanted to show you anyway. And uh, yeah, thank, thanks again for the uh, all the good feedback on that last video. So this will this is the one we'll probably be working on right here. And when I say probably, I mean we will. Uh, I, I'm gonna hit. You can hit Command E, which means it will be uh, photo edit in Photoshop, and I, you can edit the original. You can do it like that. But since I'm not on the Windows platform, I'm just going to drag it right on here into Photoshop. I've actually tried to record this tutorial uh, twice, and uh, the first time Photoshop crashed, and the second time it was way too long. So I'm not gonna go. To, to uh to hopefully not too long over because it should only be 10 minutes because if not YouTube rejects it anyway so um let me just show you guys where you can find adjustment layers um and then I'll show you how why you should use them and blah 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 anyway this is where you find them right down here as you see it's kind of one of the only things visible right here when you first start out it kind of has this little yin and yang thing going on, which is uh, on. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Okay, New Year's year. But anyway, uh, has this yin and yang thing going on. And uh, when I click on it, you guys might see see some things you're familiar with, like levels and curves and all this sorts of stuff. And then you're gonna say, "Well, Nate, I think you're trying to, you know, rip me off for something because." I already know where curves is. I know where levels is, and this is what isn't where levels is. Um, so, you know, whatever. But um, this is a totally different way of doing it, and it's going to be non-destructive, and it's going to be—it's uh, just a better way of doing it. So, I'll show you how we, how people may normally do this, which is going up under image adjustments, and then coming down to uh, let's say curves. And um, messing with all this stuff. Oh, look, contrast, yay. Um, so, then you can save it, and that's what you get. You have this, and that's it. If you want to change it later, too bad. Okay, you're going to have to go in there, redo it, and uh, just do it slightly different or whatever you want it to do, right? So, that's the downside to this. We can't even. Once I save this as a uh, as a JPEG or even as a PSD, I cannot adjust that later. I can only maybe like since I haven't saved it yet, I can go back, but that doesn't help me really at all, right? So that's a destructive way because we're actually changing how this image looks. We're changing uh, how how dark these pixels are and how light these pixels are, right? So. Um, we're gonna do um, a little something. I'm gonna kind of control Z, Command Z, and um, sometimes you have to go more than one step back, and you have to press down with Command Alt Z, which is kind of kind of silly, but Command Alt Z. And uh, most of these things work with uh, CS2 as well. So Photoshop CS2 also has adjustment layers, of course. So let's do the same thing. Grab my curves. Have my fun little contrast here, All right? Okay, same thing. So what's different? You say, Nathan, what's different about this? And I say, well, I can turn it on and off. And you say, well, that's that's fine, but I mean, but I can do that because I can I can um I can undo stuff. Well, let's just pretend like I was crazy. And uh, if I undid it, I would just undo that, and I'd have to go. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, but I'm going to con Control uh, Command Shift Z, which redoes that. So that's just saying 
I'm just saying that, yeah, of course you can always turn this on and off. That's a, that's a no-brainer kind of. So, but what's the advantage to this? The advantage to this is if I save it as a PSD, which is a Photoshop document, and uh, PSD, uh, you might wonder why, P why you save things as PSDs, um, and that's because it can, it can um, hold more than one uh, layer. So basically, it would it would keep both of these two layers, the adjustment layer and the normal layer. So now, look, I have the same. This is what I did before, right? With my curves, and guess what's going to happen if I mess with it? I can redo it, right? Cool, eh? So now, let's say I like that, like this. You can say, okay, that looks good. And um, I'm not really saying that, but uh, we can say that looks good. I can make, but here's what I'm going to show you. We talked about layer masking, right? So this has a layer mask, right? So I'm going to hit Command I, which inverts that, makes it black, because black conceals, white reveals. It's a rhyme I learned at Photoshop World. <laughs> Anyway, that's just sad. Um, so then I could grab my brush, of course, and painting with white, I could have an opacity of 100% by hitting O, I mean the zero key, and paint in these adjustments, right? Cool. Neo. All right. So, and then I'll update in a second. It just did. Um, so now I can say, well now I well, now that I know that um, you know whatever I can redo this as many times as I like. The same goes for uh, that was just with curves. But I'll show you it goes for hue saturation, black and white. Black and white is a new thing in CS3. Brightness contrast, color balance, all these things. Whenever I can do it through adjustment layer, I do it through adjustment layer because. It is just a lot easier to uh, be able to come back and redo stuff and uh, not have to worry about that. So, like I said, do these. I mean, save them like this. Let's say blah, blah, blah. I can go like this. I can sh Command Shift S. Save this as PSD on my desktop. It's actually going to ask me because I already saved it before on my. I was trying to do it earlier. Okay. I'll say, okay, I'm just going to replace that. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to die. It's going to open. Oh, okay. Well, um, oh, that's weird. But uh, I didn't want me to save that. But I'll just open up a, uh, I'll just open the one on my desktop that I have already, actually. See, so this is a one I did earlier. And um, now it doesn't want to do stuff because I got rid of the adjustment layer actually. Okay, now I can save this. Save this on my desktop. Sorry about that. You know, these tutorials that I do, they're real, man. I'm real. I'm not like, you know, I, I know there's going to be problems with my computer and things are going to crash, man. I'm in the real world anyway. <laughs> I, I hope you guys know when I'm joking. Um, because if not, you know, you might think I'm crazy. Um, but anyway, since I saved this, let's just say, okay, I did say, well, actually, I saved it as, as a um, PSD. So let's just say it's six months later. Flash forward six months. And I, you know, pr I, sh I showed this to the person. I said, Nate, the, the clouds, I wanted them to be, you know, darker. All I have to do is come in here, grab it in Photoshop, and look. We have our adjustment layer again, and uh, I can darken those clouds. So that's how we use these ad adjustment layers, because they don't harm our pixels, they don't change our pixels, they just change the, the way they look. And later on, we can uh, save this as a JPEG, and it will flatten it, and we'll be able to print it, and all sorts of stuff like that. So I have been uh, Nathan Terry, and uh, hey, you can even go over to NathanTerry.com works now. And I have like a one-page thing up there with some galleries and stuff, but you can, but, but you can check out some uh, some of the stuff I do over there. So yeah, adjustment layers, use them.
basically. Use them whenever possible and save your things as a PSD so you can go back and change it later. That's, uh, that's what I hope you get from this. Anyway, take care. Bye.